What's going on YouTube? It's Tyler and I'm going to tell you about my experience with uh, anti-anxiety, antidepressant drug Celexa. Now before I get into any details, I'd appreciate if you hit the subscribe button. YouTube removed the monetization of all of my videos due to a new policy. So unless I get a thousand subscribers, they're not giving me any ad revenue from these videos. So I would really appreciate if you helped me get to it. If not, no big deal. I'll continue the video anyway. Now to give you a background about myself, I come from a family with um, slight mental illness problems. My dad definitely has anxiety. My brother has depression. Um, so I knew it was, it was hereditary when I was growing up and I had issues with anxiety. Now before I started Selexa, mainly in my middle school years, I can remember having serious issues with anxiety. I was afraid to talk to new people. I was afraid to read out loud in class. I was afraid to do new things, fearing the consequences, fearing the paranoia, fearing of what people would think about me. Most of the time it was irrational, but it was still there, and there wasn't really any way to deal with it. I didn't realize it was a problem until close to my high school years. Now, one specific moment I remember where I knew it was a problem was when I started high school and I was called on to read in class. And it just mainly a page, you know, reading in class, you read a page, we all read a book and I read a page. Well, I start reading the, the page and this anxiety just overcomes me. And the same thing happened when I would talk to new people, when, as I said, I would do new things, this anxiety just kind of overcame my mind, this fear of, I don't know if it was the unknown or what people were thinking. But back to my story, um, I was called on to read in class and I was just choking up over my words and I got so shaken up I actually stopped in the middle of class and told my teacher, I'm having an anxiety attack. I can't do this. So it was at that moment I realized I needed some help um, to deal with my anxiety problems. So I went to a therapist at first and he gave me some advice and some tips on how to deal with it but it was very minimal on the impact on dealing with anxiety. So then he referred me to a psychiatrist where I was prescribed 20 milligrams of Celexa. Now, I was looking forward to it because I was told Celexa wasn't like many antidepressants where it wasn't too strong to the point that it would change me as a person, make me all, you know, hyper and crazy, but it was enough that it would get rid of the anxiety. So the day I started Selexa, I remember being called on for a question in class. And previously, every time I was called on to answer a question, I would barely be able to finish a sentence trying to compose myself before the anxiety took over and I'd start, you know, my voice would shake up and, and all that. I'd barely be able to finish a sentence. And if you asked me to say something else, the teacher, I would probably say one or two words and that was about it just because the anxiety overtook me. Well, he called on me for a question and I was going, I answered it, and I was thinking in my mind, the same thing's gonna happen, you know, this anxiety, this is what always happens. And for the first time, the anxiety just wasn't there. I just felt the feeling of being able to respond to a question without anxiety overtaking my body. And it felt awesome because from then on, I didn't have any problems approaching new people. I made many new friends because I was no longer afraid to talk to them. I was confident. I wasn't paranoid about what people were thinking of me, and it was great, to say the least. Now, some of the side effects I noticed when I first started Selexa was I kind of felt a little numb, I guess you could say, probably because my body was introduced to a new drug. Um, I felt a little giddy at times when I took it um, within the first hour or two. Um, and then one of the main side effects that had happened, uh, one of the more predominant side effects, was sexual dissatisfaction. Now I'm a guy, so you know, I do my thing sometimes. And um, when, before I, I started Selexa, I would jerk off maybe once a day, uh, every other day. And then when I started Selexa, I noticed I didn't have the desire to do that too much anymore. And on top of that, um, when I did it, it didn't feel as satisfying. Um, sometimes it would just be almost like not even worth it. But those effects kind of tampered off over, over a few months, over the years, to the point where my body has kind of, you know, equaled it out. And now I'm just living my life without 
much anxiety. Now, I will get anxiety. Sometimes you do need anxiety, such as when you're in the scenario, a very bad scenario or something very bad happens, you're supposed to feel bad. You're supposed to feel, you know, maybe horrible or scared, but it shouldn't be taken over your life um, to the point you're afraid to talk to new people, try new things because of the anxiety. And I probably said anxiety a million times in this video. Um, one more thing I noticed about Celexa is it has a very short half-life. And what that means is if you take it and then you don't take it for two or three days, it basically reverses all the effects and you go back to your old self. Now for me, what I notice right away is if I forget to take it like a day or two, I will get these very vivid dreams and I'll get this kind of zap this almost like zap feeling in my mind and I, I'm I've read into it. a lot of people get this so that just reminds me to you know take my my 30 milligrams and you know um, maintain my level of uh, Selexa but one of the other things that I notice and it goes back to the sexual dissatisfaction thing it's kind of funny um, so when I don't take it um, for like a day or two because the sexual dissatisfaction thing probably is still a side effect of the medication and my body just kind of even and out to the point it was normal when I do not take Celexa for a day or two, I get insanely horny. Like it gets to the point that I'll jerk off three times a day and it'll just feel amazing. Now, I do not do that intentionally, but when it happens, I'm like, oh crap, I need to, you know, take my Celexa again. Um, but overall, Celexa does very well for me. If you're watching this video, maybe you have problems with anxiety. I'd recommend talking to a therapist, talking to a psychiatrist, and maintaining your anxiety so it doesn't get the best of you. Because of me dealing with my anxiety, it has opened so many doors, not only to people, but to careers, to job interviews where it led to career, and also now I have my own business. I can deal with strangers and I have no problem. I'm as confident as I am right now talking to a camera, possibly going out to thousands of people. So if you have any questions about Celexa, there's nothing else that I can think of to explain, you know, how it worked well for me and hopefully it would work well for you if you were talking to your doctor about it. Um, but if you have any questions, I'm here for you. I've dealt with anxiety my whole life and even with Celexa, I still have issues with it sometimes. So uh, if you have any questions, feel, uh, feel free to message me, feel free to comment and uh, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. Thanks.